I'd like to tell you today about some of the hydrolysis determining substrate characteristics of liquid hot water pretreated hardwood. I've worked together with my colleagues on this area, and we think we found some very interesting results that perhaps you'd like to hear about. So, pretreatment opens up the structure upon enzyme hydrolysis. I think this is pretty well known. And if you look at our cartoon, this is one from Mosier et al. a few years ago. You can see the lignin, solomine. Cellulose, the black line, the green, is the hemicellulose. And we, when we carry out pretreatment, we open up the structure so that the enzyme, the red circles and the light gray, can access the cellulose and hydrolyze it in forming glucose, a soluble product in the process. And so this is the way it's supposed to work, and in fact it does. However, it's very important to have low enzyme loading so that the process itself is cost effective. What interferes with this is something else. If you look at the product, which would be glucose or cellobios, that product will inhibit the enzymes. It's only for glucose, inhibits the enzymes. The other thing that's given off when we do the pretreatment is phenols. And these phenols also, they're soluble, they also interfere with enzyme hydrolysis because they will in particular inhibit, as shown by Shimonis et al will inhibit this final step and literally precipitate beta-glucosidase in some cases, which will stop the reaction. So the question is, if we wash away these phenolic these soluble inhibitors, we should be in pretty good shape. However, that's not the way it worked out. So what we found is even if we wash the materials, as we go through uh, different enzyme levels, 40, 10, 5, and 2.5 and decreasing enzyme levels. And we plot these enzyme levels as a function of the severity of pretreatment. The higher the severity, the more the pretreatment. We find at the lowest enzyme level, the conversion is 5%, even if for the most severe pretreatment. If we add a lot of enzyme, however, we can get up to 70%. And what this tells us is that the pretreatment's working, but something is interfering with the efficient action of the enzyme. So we looked at this further, and here's what we found. If you look at it adding BSA, bovine serum albumin, to the enzyme and what it does to hydrolysis, it's very, very interesting. First of all, if we have no pretreatment, no conversion. If we have pretreatment, exact same conditions, and we increase the time, we will get up to 30 or 35 percent conversion. And this is for about 5 FPU per gram um, glucan, or about 8 milligrams of protein per gram glucan, 3.5 milligrams per gram total solids. Okay? Now, if we dilute the enzyme with BSA, we add BSA to the reaction mixture, everything else is the same but the conversion increases to 90%. So you might ask, how can this happen? Well, we went and investigated further, and here's what we found. We did another experiment. So this time we added BSA, but the cellulase loading was only 1.8 FPU per gram glucan, or about 1.3 per gram pretreated solids. And so then, as we decrease the activity, in other words, the milligram cellulase per milligram total protein, as we decrease it, you'll notice the conversion, the yield actually goes up. And the reason for this is it's called, we call it the pretreatment conundrum. As we pretreat the cellulosic material, it opens up not only the cellulose structure, so that the enzyme can get at it, but also the lignin. And the way this works is if you look at this, uh, these scanning electron micro micrographs, the untreated material is very smooth. The pretreated material, on the other hand, shows lignin, lignin globules. And this was identified by Mike Kimmel a number of years ago, also published in Biotech BioEng. And these lignin globules have a very high surface area, and they will absorb protein, any protein, 
in particular cellulase protein. So what we did is we came up with an explanation and a graphic to try to explain how this conundrum, in fact, impl is implemented. This first square represents cellulose and ligand structure. It's a graphic, of course. The purple is, represents lignin. The light colored squares represent the cellulose, the circles, the enzyme. This is before pretreatment. We do get some hydrolysis. We likely also have some exposure to lignin, which will absorb a small amount of the enzyme. And this is shown as a flattened circle here. As we increase the severity of pretreatment, what you'll see as you look at on, uh, the, the, the graphic under moderate, you have more lignin that is exposed, also more cellulose. And again, the hydrolysis increases, but also the amount of enzyme absorbed on the lignin, again shown as flattened circles. At the most severe pretreatment, the cellulose is exposed, the lignin itself still absorbs enzymes, the flattened circle, and if we add enough enzyme, we'll get a high yield because the cellulose is now exposed. So what we did is we added BSA to the mixture, got it to absorb on the lignin first, and that then enabled the cellulase enzyme to in fact be directed toward the pretreated cellulose to give us high yield and low enzyme loading. So the net effect was to decrease the enzyme loading by a factor of 5 or 10 at the same conditions. And so in summary, what these papers show is that low-cost production processes will define cellulose ethanol. That's known and has been described by others. And that lignin-derived inhibitors are the next target, I think, to reducing costs. We're not going to use BSA in the process. We use BSA in our research because the properties are known, the molecular weight is defined, and we know what sorts of interactions we would expect. But this gives us some uh, information on what to do next. And also, there's further background in this uh, very interesting area in related papers that have recently been published in biotechnology, bioengineering. I hope this was a, a, an in, of interest to you, and I hope this short video abstract will in fact motivate you perhaps to read some of the papers that we have put out. Thank you very much and I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye -bye.